and welcome to today's video my name is Bella for all of you who are new and if you're not new thank you so much for returning I'm so excited to share today's video because we're packing up to move and at the time that you're watching this video we leave in five days and I'm so excited and happy to be sharing this whole journey with you so I put together this little video of me packing up some of the stuff in the kitchen and also doing some of the stuff in the nursery. I hit a couple areas around the house too that you'll see kind of scattered in, but main focus is gonna be the kitchen and the bedroom or the nursery. It's my daughter's bedroom. Right now, I'm packing up my tiered tray, coffee nook, and I feel like I just built this on the channel and now it's coming down but it'll be coming with us to the new place so you'll see it again i was just packing it up and making sure that i kept both the boxes that it ended up going to together and i'm labeling everything as i go so i labeled this coffee nook one and i labeled the next one that had the actual stand coffee nook two so that they would get into the truck together and then they'll get into the new kitchen together I think that that's one of my biggest tips is label everything because I know that if I hadn't come five days from now I would be scrambling and really stressed but this was a really easy way to kind of like calm my anxiety about moving down and kind of everyone that's helping us too, it really helps them out, so that is a tip. And this video turns into a clean with me for a hot second because I didn't realize that the bottom of our soap holder had some rust in it, so I took a second to clean that up with some CLR because I didn't want it that way when we moved into the new house and I didn't want to deal with it upon moving in, so I got a cleaning toothbrush and just took care of it really quick. now this is clearly later that same day that's why I'm in pajamas now and I decided to pull out some mugs and some cups to see which ones I wanted to take with me and I did a pretty good declutter of these in my kitchen clean and declutter video I'll actually link that one below but I had even more that I decided not to take with us and those will be either donated or given to friends and family. And I'm really trying to cut down on how much we bring. I know it doesn't look like it with how many we take, but if you saw the other video, you know just how many were already decluttered. So I feel like we made pretty good progress and we took probably an appropriate amount with us, hopefully. And you're gonna see a few outfit changes throughout this video. I was jumping around, it wasn't even filmed in the same week. We started pretty early, all things considering, so that's why you're gonna see quite a few different outfits. But I decided to pack these up at a later date because I got tired that night. So now I'm putting all of these away and then Matt's gonna come help me in a second because there were a 
quite a few that we were taking, so he decided to jump in and help too. So you're gonna see him in a minute. What if I'm not good for you? What if you're not good for me? Let me know down in the comments what you guys like to start with when you move. This is the first move that I've ever had like this so I was kind of in over my head at the time that I'm filming this like I said we only have five days until we move and I haven't even packed up the laundry room yet and I haven't decluttered Kennedy's toys so that's still on my list but those are kind of the last two things that I have to do in order to be ready and I feel like the laundry room is going to be pretty easy to pack if you didn't see that video I actually decluttered it and we organized it a little while ago so I can link that too if you're interested. But like I said, this is the first time I've ever really moved on this large of a scale. I had a few things when I moved in with Matt, but it was basically my room as a child. It wasn't like I had a ton of furniture or really anything large scale it was just a bunch of clothes and stuff and I actually decluttered a lot moving in with Matt so I didn't have a ton to move and honestly we're not even taking a lot of furniture with us in this move we're getting pretty much new stuff because all of our stuff is a little old and we wanted to redo the style of our house and everything we're going for more lights, brights. So it's something that I've always liked and this house was pretty dark and it's always kind of been pretty dark which has always kind of bugged me about this house and the new place is so light and bright and airy and open and I love it so much. I know I mentioned it in my last video how excited I was to move and I was kind of amping it up but I really think that it will live up to everybody's expectations because I was just in awe upon moving in and so were my parents. My mom and dad both love the apartment we're going to and they thought we did such a good job finding it and I'm just so excited and so happy to be sharing it with everybody here and everybody has been so supportive to us and I really just want to thank you for all of your kind words and your encouragement and your packing tips and your motivation. I just really, really appreciate it. It was way more than a dream. We climbed up over the hillside so right. I am so sorry guys, I had to jump in because watching this back, Kennedy has me cracking up so hard. She is jumping up and down and I have this at four times speed, so it looks like she's just gonna take off. I decided to put in a little clip of me packing up all of the decor on my desk and again I feel like I just put this together on my channel and now it's coming down and I was asked if I was going to have the same YouTube space in the apartment and the answer is not really. Me and Matt are actually going to share his desk and he has that nice desk in the corner of the living room. I'm sure some of you have seen it, but it's not going to be us having two separate desks. It's us sharing the same desk. So we're channeling our minimalism and our teamwork vibes and we're going to do it. Now I'm packing up Kennedy's nursery and I was actually talking to Josie. A lot of you who follow me also follow Josie and you'll know who she is. 
we were texting and I was telling her about how I was feeling kind of emotional about taking the nursery and packing it all up and she was telling me how she's feeling the same way because she is also moving right now. So double the moving content. If you need some motivation, head over to her channel. Kennedy's nursery will be pretty much set up the exact same way in the new place. She has and actually a larger room than she has now, so it'll be even better spaced out. Everything about this apartment is just so great. I'm sorry guys, I'm just going on and on about it, I know. And the reason you're not seeing me pull anything out of her drawers or her closet or anything like that is because we're actually going to move all of the stuff already still in the drawers. We're just going to pull the drawers out and move it and we're gonna take everything in her closet on her hangers and just move it in the car so that we don't have to put everything back up. It'll just be a lot easier to move it that way. But what I did have to do is pack up all of these books and I didn't realize how many books she actually had until I started packing these all up. It was a chore and I also packed up all of her little dolls and all of her little decorations to go to the new place and I made sure they were all safe in the box may have even gone a little bit overboard jury's still out on that because these dolls are cloth so i'm sure that i didn't have to pack all of them individually in the paper towels but i still did because i didn't want anything to happen to them nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different and if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm shaking out all the coins from her piggy bank. She actually has a swan piggy bank that goes with her room theme. And I know it looks a little weird, it's kind of hard to tell what I'm doing, but that's what I'm doing. Right here, I saw a spider crawl off of her top floating shelf, so I was kind of freaking out about it, but I ended up being able to get both the floating shelves in and not touch a spider, so points for me. I'm gonna try really hard to get a toy declutter video out before we leave, but I don't know that it's going to actually end up happening, only because it does take a lot longer when I'm filming the video because I have to move around the camera and I have to take certain angles into consideration, so it'll probably be a little bit easier on us to just maybe do some before and after pictures, but I will try really hard to get that filmed. It's just been so busy and hectic around here. I'm sure that you know what I mean. If you have ever moved, I know that probably most of you have, so you'll totally understand, and I know that you guys will be super nice anyway because you are all so awesome. And here's what I'm talking about with all of those books that I had to pack up. She's getting a little bit old for some of these, but they're still well within her range right now. So I didn't want to get rid of a lot of them and I think she really likes them. And I want to keep things familiar to her, like the stories that we're reading, because I know that it can be a little bit stressful on kids to move and I just want to make it as stress-free as possible because I don't know, I lived in the same house my entire life up until I was 18 years old, so I don't have personal experience with it, but I want her to feel as comfortable as possible. 
I want to thank everybody for watching this video through to the end. It really means so much to me and so much to us that you care so much about our moving journey that you want to watch and support us. Thank you so much. And please remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure all of your notifications are turned on because the house tour will be coming up very soon and I want everybody to see it. But until then, have an amazing day, guys.